Hip fractures are most frequently caused by falls, especially in older adults. Hip fractures are a serious injury for the elderly patient. Prompt evaluation and treatment are critical to avoid serious complications. The thigh bone is called the femur. The greater trochanter, lesser trochanter, head, neck, and shaft are all components of the thigh bone. The trochanters are bony prominences of the thigh bone near the hip to which many muscles attach. Fractures commonly occur at the neck or between the trochanters. The fractures are called intertrochanteric and femoral neck fractures. Treatment for hip fracture involves surgery to reduce or realign the broken bones. Surgical hardware is used to secure the bones in position while they heal. The complete surgical procedure is called open reduction and internal fixation. Let's take a look at two types of surgery for intertrochanteric fractures. For the first procedure, an incision is made to access the bone. The guide wire is placed into the head of the thigh bone. A hole is reamed over the wire so that a large screw can be placed. Surgical hardware, such as screws and a plate, are secured to hold the bones in position while they heal. The incision is sutured and bandaged. Let's take a look at the second type of surgery. Another type of surgical approach uses a smaller incision at the side of the hip. A short surgical nail is inserted into the femur, or the thigh bone. A screw is placed through the nail into the head of the thigh bone. Another screw is placed through the nail toward its end and into the thigh bone. The incision is sutured and bandaged. You will initially need to use a walker or crutches. Therapists will help you increase the strength in your hip with exercises. The recovery process from hip surgery is very individualized. Generally, it takes six to eight weeks for a hip fracture to heal, and a full recovery takes even longer. Ask your doctor and therapist about how you can prevent falls.